Home court belongs to the Timberwolves in this one as we bring you a Western Conference matchup here live from the Target Center in Minneapolis. The excitement of the NBA is on the way. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Doris Burke courtside. Next to me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr in the booth. Today's game marks the continuation of the Lakers' road schedule. Unfortunately, a troubled season they've had right down near the bottom, second to last in the West. Well, this is an important matchup for a lot of reasons, guys, but I know that coming into a game like this as a coach or as a player, you know in the back of your head, you've already been beaten twice this season. You do not want to take a third loss to the same team. Well, in many ways, Steve, it's almost a must-win situation, and that should be plenty of motivation enough. I mean, they've prepared for this game, the coaches and players. They understand the matchups, advantages and disadvantages. They've got a game plan in both ends of the floor. At the very least, they will come prepared to do battle. And because of that, I think it'll be very interesting to see how the approach unfolds in this one. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Nash and Bryant in the back. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. And it's Young in at the small forward position. Shot clock at two. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Oh, he got him. Gorgeous reverse. Lakers on D. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late, but something was amiss because they had no energy. Here's Boozer following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. Nash drives in. Here's Hill. Blocked. Tries again. The Lakers on D to the wing right side. Kobe with the steal. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Second chance shot, and there's the nice layup by Hill. They have got to put a body on, because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive lap. Martin with a screen on Nash. Wiggins with it, picked up by Kobe. Wiggins passes to G. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. They get Steve Nash. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throws of this one. G. At the line for two. That free throw good from G. And G drops them both. Well, we all know the Lakers in transition. Ownership passed down to the next generation in early 2013. And for the first time in L.A., uh, Clark, a bit of uncertainty in that leadership situation. Yep, a few cracks starting to show their partner, Laker great Magic Johnson, airing his concerns with some of the decision-making. Disharmony, not quite sure of who's going to run things, um, injuries as well. And just a lot didn't go the way the Lakers had hoped or wanted it to. He feeds it to Martin. A baseline J. Tries again. And that one's good. Pekovic. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin. I spoke with the Lakers head coach. He really wants them to go all out to get a win against this team after losing in their first two meetings of this season. And he felt the key for them defensively will be limiting dribble drives and forays to the hoop. He said, quote, we've seen how tough they can be finishing around the rim. The challenge for us is to stay in front. And if they beat us shooting contested jump shots, we can live with that. Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Now here's Bryant. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And when you look at the Lakers, they say that second generation of businesses have a high failure rate. Only time will tell if they can continue the remarkable winning streak this team has enjoyed through the years. And, and you know, for the Lakers with the harder cap, they can't outspend like they used to. With the internet, players like Durant don't need to be in a big market to get exposure like was in days past so the Lakers will need to outsmart other teams to continue their success here's G boy he was something else against Utah and that is good they're off and running good start here they've knocked down four of their first five 
The dish now to Young. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Left side, Kobe. The 15-footer. That is Young grabs the miss. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And it's Pekovic missing. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Took him no time at all on that one. And that's now six points for Kobe Bryant. Let's take a moment to show you some young men that have really picked up steam here in the second half of the season. These are the leading rookie scorers since the All-Star break. You look at G, third in the league. He typically dominates out there. He can seemingly score at will. And, of course, Andrew Wiggins. And, Kevin, the picture of the elite rookies in the NBA has come into focus since the All-Star break. And their scoring has put these two front and center. You're exactly right. The way they've grown into their roles at the offensive end has certainly made an impression. Well, Kobe has always had an alpha personality, but I don't think he came into the league as a natural leader. He's more of a loner. And as his career has worn on, he's realized the need to really engage his teammates for the good of the team. Randall's checked in for Los Angeles. Henry comes in for Steve Nash. Here's G. Averaging 10 points per contest into Pekovic. Shoots from 12. Cannot hit. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Last time they came together was in Minnesota, where they felled the Wolves. Well, they were extremely aggressive defensively early on in that last game, and it kind of backfired on them. Their starters wound up in foul trouble, and I thought that led to the loss. So it's the Timberwolves now, after Jordan Hill's miss. Martin dishes to Pekovic. Martin kicks to G. Five on the clock. Jacks up a three. That is good. G's got five. G. And to go back to Steve's point about foul trouble in that game, Clark, they had to give minutes to some players that ordinarily wouldn't be getting that many minutes. Exactly, and that really stymied any hopes they had of coming back once they found themselves way behind in that second half, Kevin. And here is Henry following the three from G. Hill passes to Henry. Kobe dishes to Henry. Young from outside. Thaddeus Young grabs the miss. Young's got his third rebound tonight. Here's G. He's got five. Degovic with a screen. Kevin Martin on the wing. From downtown, Randall grabs the board. Oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Bryant has the open look. Here's Hill, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. That's on Nikola Begovic. Pretty bad defense, letting the offense get right. I like that shooting. What's gonna happen? Minnesota in the lead. G, he's in a shooting guard. Pekovic is out there with Corey Brewer. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Williams at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Pekovic with a screen. G kicks to Wiggins. Lots of room. The feed to G. And counting from 19 feet away. G's got the lead up to three now for the Timberwolves. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented, for plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Well, it was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Passes to Pekovic. Can't cash in from close range. The Lakers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Johnson dishes to Nash. An easy layup after coming off the pick. And the Lakers lead by one. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. And good on the basket. Book it. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. The Lakers have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Henry. 
Minnesota with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And a very confident performance offensively, I think, guys. Really, uh, how this team clicks. I mean, when they're communicating and executing, sharing the ball, they're tough to beat. And Steve, you gotta love that kind of performance on the road. I mean, to be a great team in the NBA, you have to be able to have that kind of performance in the other team's building. Really solid. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, G in the last matchup against the Jazz really lit it up. He finished with 25 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Just numbers that really jump out at you in the box score. Great, Doris. Thanks. Any chance we see him on top of that performance at Clark here tonight? Partner, <laughs> and that's not a knock against him. It's just that he was so good that night, I don't think he can possibly do it two games in a row. He was Kelloggian. <laughs> is that a word? We can use that word. It is, it is now. Oh, look at Steve. He didn't like that, though. Uh, look at him. Well, let's just say he was really good. <laughs> Young outside. It's Nash with the drive. Some solid defense from G. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. Feeds it to Pekovic. Quick hands and the ability to anticipate the opening to create a turnover so valuable, especially for a guard, as we see two tremendous talents with their ability to steal that ball away. Then, of course, you look at the numbers. John Stockton with 3,265 steals over his career. Really a crazy number, averaged over two a game, and even in his later years, he was a threat in that regard. Well, Nikola Pekovic, a battering ram style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. I think that make, that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scorers in the league. The Timberwolves trail. Rubio, the pass to G. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Dishes it to G. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. G's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can win. They both have confidence. Also, we'll see which team can kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. He is remarkably hot this quarter. He has yet to miss a shot. Lakers trail by three. Nash outside. And there's the pass to Young. Nash kicks to Henry. And here's Nash. His last outing, he had 24 points. Clock is at three. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Nash has got six. And that's ten straight points in the paint. I mean, defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. Wiggins kicks to Pekovic with the fadeaway. And it's off the back rim. No good. They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game, though. Davis with it. Out guarded by Pekovic. And Nash, here we go. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Timberwolves have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shafts to find the mark. Four of nine all total. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Some changes for Minnesota. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Wiggins. And Levine subbed in for Ricky Rubio. Randall's checked in for the Lakers. Kobe comes in for Steve Nash. Here's Henry. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Lakers have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. And he makes the first. That's the way to shoot the rock. And that does it for the first half of play. Lakers lead by six. You guys had the lead after the first, but now find yourselves behind. What's the mindset of this team heading into the break? Uh, I think we're still up B. We would like to have a stronger second quarter, but we know there's a lot of game left. Hopefully we can get back to how we started the game. 
That's all I got. Thank you for your time. This one far from over, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first if we pay attention to a couple of things. We played a very physical half, and that's great. I know you're taking some lumps, but all those trips we're getting to the foul line are paying off. Now I'll give credit where credit is due. We've taken very good care of the basketball. Turnovers were scarce, and we need to keep it that way. And guys, I don't want too many of us under the glass at the defensive end. I want to be sure that we always have at least a couple of guys getting up court, ready to receive the outlet pass and get an easy bucket on the break. We know we're up against a tough team tonight. Let's show them we're just as tough. Well, both sides. game for G. He's got 14 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. So the Lakers five right now. Nash and Bryant in the backcourt. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. And it's Young in at the three. Nash outside. On the wing, Bryant. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Assistant. Nash has got three assists now in this one. That's been a great day for him, and if you remember, he gave them a huge performance their last time out as well. Pekovic with a screen on Nash. G dishes to Pekovic. Outside for Martin. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Los Angeles leading by four. Pass to Young. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, when Kobe speaks, people listen. That was the case last year when he revealed his all-time starting five, and he did not place himself in the lineup. Interesting. Look at who Kobe did put in there, Magic and Jordan, you know, the guards. Bird at the three with Russell and Kareem down low. Not really a lot you could argue with about that particular group, Steve. No, it's one of the things I love about Kobe. He's got a great reference and a historical uh, perspective of the NBA, and it shows, Kevin, how much he reveres that era. And Kobe drops them both. Well, you kind of expect that from him. You pretty much know what the result's going to be when he goes to the line. They double him with Boozer. Pass to Wiggins. Young with the steal. Now the Lakers on the break. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Gentlemen, the great Kobe Bryant, now in his 19th year in the league, he said this is the last chapter. The book is going to close. I just haven't determined how many pages are left. But my passion only increases. You realize you only have so many years left. It re-energizes you to fine-tune your preparation and make sure you leave no stone unturned. Kevin sounds familiar. That sounds like him. Never one to shy from a challenge. Thanks, Doris. Here's Kobe. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And the first one drops. And the one for two. And G drops them both. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Los Angeles leading by four. Nash the pass to Young. And Bryant kicks to Nash. Nash drawing the double team. Bryant gets a wide open look, drops one in from the wing. Kobe's got 19 points. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Nash comes with the double team, kicks it to G. 
Fires the three. Boozer with the rebound. Boozer's got three rebounds so far in the game. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. Tipped away. Kobe with the steal. And it's Boozer penetrating, and the foul called on G. That'll be his second foul of the game. Outside Boozer. Here's Nash. The 15-footer, good. And now an eight-point Los Angeles lead. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. G kicks to Wiggins. Here's G. Another miss by Minnesota. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Williams is checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here as well. Ian Kelly, he's checked in for Jordan Hill. Got it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from G. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Nash, and another basket for the Lakers. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Here's G, defended by Nash. And Young, here we go. Put that bucket in in no time at all. Young's got six points in the quarter. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball we're seeing. Wiggins with it, picked up by Kobe. From downtown, Young's shot is off. Los Angeles leading by 12. Young dishes to Bryant. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Bryant's got 21. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball mover. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Lakers have gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. They get it back, and the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point foot. Too many turnovers. Oh, folks. And even under Ryan Jones. It's go time. Check in. I'm on it. Substitution on the court. Timberwolves trail by 16. Williams passes to Rubio. 43 seconds left in the third. Nice shot by Bennett. Bennett's got his first points of the night. That's exactly what they had in mind. Some changes for Minnesota. Nikola Begovic comes in for Bennett. And G's subbed in for Mo Williams. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 14-6 run. And Kobe, here we go. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Bryant's got 23 points. Minnesota's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Rubio in the corner. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. A risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. Shots good from Young. And his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. Now here's Bryant, 23 points in the game. Davis in the corner, it's stolen by G. The Trey can't get it to go. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Coming up this Friday, March 27th, Nikola Pekovic and the Minnesota Timberwolves take on Dwight Howard and the Houston Rockets. Do not miss it. Come on, 
While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I was hoping we'd get a chance to see this one again. Thank you, Lonnie, and the truck for showing. But it's uh, passing like this that makes the basketball purists happy. This is the beauty of the game right here. Lakers leading by 14. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. G in a point guard. Corey Brewer is out there with Mark. And there's Pekovic. And it's Berea in at the two. G kicks to Pekovic. Pekovic with a screen on Bryant. Six on the shot clock. G dishes to Pekovic. That one rolling around and rims out. And that will increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. They have to box out better than that. I mean, that putback is just another example of the difference between these two teams today. G passes to Pekovic. Pekovic missing again. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. Kobe kicks it over to Nash. Young with no one around. Again, Young missing. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Here's G. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. In a moment, I'd quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. Something else you'd like to see is how well they've shot their free throws tonight. Wiggins is checked in for Minnesota. You know, even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line this half. I think they've done a good job of making the most of their chances at the line, and you got to keep it up to take the lead. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. And turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities, that's what it's all about. Offensive rebound out to Nash. Back to Boozer, a second chance effort. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. A chance here now for a three-point play. And you love the concentration. Gets hit, but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. That's good from Boozer. Timberwolves trail by 15. Here's G. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Martin dishes to G. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Him. And it's Bekovic missing. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. It's tipped. It's stolen by G. Makes it off the glass. G's got 10 points here in the second half. How huge has he been, giving his team the lift? Without his work offensively, Steve, I don't know where they'd be. Shooting at great efficiency. I don't think they'd have a chance without him. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Corey Brewer. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive. That's it? And you know this man. Build on it at night. On the floor for your Timberwolves. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. He kicks to Wiggins. Boozer against Young. Count it from 12. Boy, he can be a matchup nightmare inside the paint. And the Timberwolves making a change here. She's checked in. G. Lakers leading by 11. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. 
Kobe with it. Clock at six. From about 16. And the Lakers with another miss. For Minnesota, they've gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. And that Gee. one's good by G. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Uh, giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Nash connects on the foul line jumper. And the Lakers lead by 11. They're going to have to tighten up defensively, guys, because they're really giving up way too many open looks. Here's G. He dishes it to Wiggins. Bekovic passes to G. And Young comes over to help. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And for the Lakers, their shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Kobe against Martin. Nash outside. Shoots from the elbow. Here's Boozer. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And you got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. G kicks to Pekovic, and that one is stuck right through. They'd love to get more of those, the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up their D. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. Boy, they look helpless defensively. Timberwolves trail by 13. Here's G. Here's Wiggins. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, just take a look at what Wiggins has done tonight. He has nine points and a decent little assist total for him, too. Yeah, he's played really well, moving the ball around, and uh, you'd like to see the rest of the team kind of get into that same passing groove that he's in. Lakers leading by 11. Nash kicks to Kobe. And the foul called on G. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. Young against Boozer. Over to the wing. It's stolen by G. Now they're hanging on to this lead, but they won't be for long if they continue to turn the ball over. That's exactly right, guys. I mean, they've already given away four points because of bad decisions, and that number will grow if they don't sharpen things up out there. Nash drives in. Kevin Martin grabs the board. The Timberwolves have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's G. He feeds it to Pekovic, plays it up, and banks it in. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Nash dishes to Hill. That's tipped. It's stolen by G. Moving it up. They get the rebound. Goes back up. Excellent D there from Hill. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Kobe draws it up. Nash kicks to Bryant. Shot from 12, and there's Boozer. That's good on the assist from Kobe. Seven points for Carlos Boozer. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Young with no one around. Knocks down the three ball. Young's got five points in the quarter. And he had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. It's Nash with the drive. Who's another shot? And he sinks the layup. And the Lakers lead by eight. Boy, this team has really been on the offensive glass here in the second half, doing an outstanding job. And that's one of the reasons they're on top. Martin the screen. Fires the three. And another three for Minnesota. That's two straight and quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. Nash outside. 
It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Back to Nash. Bryant is double. The dish now to Nash. Just four to shoot. Here's Young. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. Well, if not 100% safe, certainly 95%. Kobe comes with a double team. Martin from outside buries it. And now they trail by just four. Boy, I'll tell you what, since the beginning of the fourth quarter, the three-point shot has really just been there for them. Everything's fallen. Yeah, the touch from downtown is right on point. The basket here in this game may be all over. Yeah, main priority now has to be take care of the ball and use up some clock. And so they foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. And no mistakes there. A couple of good free throws to give them a little extra cushion. Young left side, all alone. And he overshot that one, missing. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So both teams changing it up here. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Minnesota's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. G passes to Dang. Here's Levine. He's guarded by Davis. Lets it go with a three. The shot misses. And so the Lakers take the win. They pulled off this wing. Carlos, you guys had a productive practice before the game. How important is that preparation for you guys when you're on a road trip like this? Oh, it's important. I mean, what we do is we try to get as much working as we can and shoot around. We come in early. Like, I get here three hours before the game. A couple of us do the work on our game. That way we can stay sharp because we don't have a lot of practice time. We're just really playing games. So um, I think we're all doing a good job of getting our lifts in, getting our conditioning in, and getting our skill work in. Carlos, thank you. Kevin, over to you. And as always, Doris, thank you. That'll do it. I don't care if you're in grade school or the NBA. This game is all about solid fundamentals. Let's get some extra work in here. Got to get better every day.
That's what I'm talking about. Good efforts yields great results every time. Way to work.